Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. Today I'm very excited to show you the first entry into the VAST challenge. For those of you who don't know, the VAST challenge is my attempt at creating a golden standard for assessing the performance of a copywriter and mainly the outputs, the quality of the output. So you can uh, read up on the VAST challenge here, watch the explanatory video, but basically we all know what, what we want from the AI writer, the ideal one. And everybody is invited to access this file here, which is this neat table, populate it and send it back to me for me to review and record a video. And a few days ago, we got Adam from Agility Writer, who was kind enough to complete the challenge and send it back to me, along with video description and video recording of him generating the outputs. So this is fully vetted and I'm sure this is not rigged. If you go to our performance database, you see that we have two new columns submitted by, so the majority of the outputs have been submitted by me and vetted by WAS, which is again, the vast challenge. And if you scroll all the way down, you now can see Agility Writer. And this was submitted by Agility Writer, mainly Adam. And this has been vetted by me. And so this is actually a very cool piece of software. As we can see that average word count is above 2,500 words. Average surface score is 56, which is above average again. So readability is average. Plagiarism is sub 5%, which is extremely good. And originality. So originality is 83% on average, which is very high. And I have looked at the outputs myself and the average relevance is seven out of 10, which is again, a very good result. And this puts Agility Writer right in contention. So number one is still Zim Writer, but number two right now is Agility Writer and number three is Autoblogging. And what I have also started doing with your help and your suggestions as well is testing the AI copywriters against factuality. So again, Adam from Agility Writer was kind enough to submit the outputs for the seven tricky questions. And as you can see, that's many of them agility writer got right. So this is scored one to 10, 10 being factually accurate and on point, eight being in the ballpark and uh, zero being incorrect. So we see that agility writer guessed the Super Bowl 2023 winner incorrectly. And the majority of the outputs were on point. So 7.4 is a very high score. And this is the new standard for the factual AI copywriters. So I will be adding the others as I'm testing them and we will see where Agility Writer ends up. So a very nice piece of software. And I wanted to show you uh, a few features of the software. So me be me, I went to the outline builder straight away because I like outlines and let's use our favorite can docs eat bananas example. So we have a few choices here. You can uh, get headings, uh, which will scan the top 10 SERPs and uh, scrape the outlines. And you can also press include AI outline, which will generate an outline and place it here. So we'll do both at the same time. So uh, we, we have number one, number two. So basically all of the top SERPs and if you press on any of the headings, they will appear on the right hand side in this field here. So I will just randomly press on the headings, say I think they're relevant. So you get a collection, a mixture of AI generated and manually vetted and checked subheadings. And you can see these are H2s and H3s. And once you go to the step three, which is create outlines, the AI will look at your menu selection and the AI generated outlines. It will mix and match them and come up with the perfect outline. So this process is very similar to what I'm doing with ChatGPT. And even though it only says seven, but it, as you can see, it includes the AI included H2s and H3s. I would have liked to see a high number, but you see uh, later that even seven headings will generate and upwards of three, 4,000 words. So this is plenty. And seven headings means seven H2s 
and multiple H3s as well. And from this step here, you can start again or you can set it to the article writer. And there are a few options when it comes to article generations. There is a, a one-click mode, which has been used for the majority of the, of the data, uh, of the outputs. You can include FAQs, you can include factual data, which is very neat. And you also have the advanced mode, which uh, specifies the audience, the tone of voice, and has a very neat SEO feature, which you can use to optimize your article with OSI keywords and entities. So the way it works would be, say we want to generate an article on canned dogs eat bananas, so we'll stick to five headings, and we'll go to Surfer SEO. Usually I would choose the ChatGPT, I would go to ChatGPT to filter this out uh, from the special characters and numbers, but Adam showed me that you can just basically copy this over, go to terms and keywords and paste it here. So we'll press, we won't be including FAQs and factual data, well, actually, I will include factual data to, for the um, demonstration purposes. And we'll press write article. And yeah, I need to generate, <laughs> generate the outline first. Okay, this looks like a very robust outline. Let's write an article. And again, these terms and keywords will be included. So we get almost 2000 words and this estimation was extremely accurate. So let's copy the content. And as you can see, since we checked the include factual data, we get this list with factual information at the end of the article. And this information is not necessarily included into the text, but can be used uh, to create pieces of original research or enrich your existing article. So let's copy this content here. And we got a 65 score right out of the gate. And just before I go, I wanted to go over the pricing. You have three options. The first one is 228 per month, which is 200 credits, which is roughly 200 articles, 75 articles for $98 and 20 articles for 28. And the advanced mode uses twice as much. And this is with the SEO optimization in mind. For every plan, you get the bulk generation, the outline builder, the catchy title and meta description. So I want to congratulate Adam and Agility Writer for being the pioneers who were the first ones to pass uh, the vast challenge. They were very open and transparent. I can fully recommend this tool. The results have been vetted by me. And yeah, go on and try this tool. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I invite every other owner and developer of the AI cooperation tools to approach me. We want to build this huge community-based initiative where we can make our decisions based on objective data and not marketing and rumor. That's it for today. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.